environments are having an impact. They hold some mysteries, for example, in food intake and body mass regulation and bone metabolism and cryoprotection of tissues. All of these things could have human impacts. We could solve or at least get a better understanding of human health problems if we understood how the marmot has overcome them. We're studying how do they turn off their uh, food intake for six months of the year. And it doesn't matter whether you put them in a cold environment or a warm environment, they won't eat. They say, I've eaten enough, thank you very much. I don't need to eat again until spring. And they stop eating, even if you keep them from hibernating and keep them in a warm environment. These animals eat, eat, and eat and get fat, and they should become diabetic. Why don't they become diabetic? They stop eating and their insulin levels fall, their triglycerides fall, et cetera, et cetera. They don't become diabetic and they live off their fat for the next uh, six to seven months. Why don't they lose bone mass? If you put a human on a couch for two weeks, you crumble, you start losing your bone mass. This is the problem with astronauts, problem with bed rested people in the hospitals. They lose their bone mass. Marmots are down perfectly still three weeks. They sit still and do not lose bone mass. People study hibernating animals to understand a cryo protection of tissues, to understand how the heart can beat and go from 250 beats per minute to five beats per minute. A lot of the heart surgeries that are done now, they cool humans down and they gained an understanding and appreciation of how well and how much they can cool human hearts from working with hibernators.